Hey, thanks for opting in. You're just a minute away from getting the same information that realtors have access to. So all you have to do is click on the highlighted blue link and we can get started. And I'll give you a brief tutorial to get your help started fast. All right, we're in. So welcome to your IDX search here on phoenixrealestatecorner.com. And uh, let's get you started. Let me point out first that there are basically two parts of the screen. On your right hand side here, here is a a, uh, a map and this is a uh, quite a really cool way to search there's little uh, little parameters down here we could actually uh, map out areas we could make it larger or smaller and, and get real specific but what I'm going to do is I'm going to shelve that right now and in fact I'll save it for a tutorial for later on if you want to get a little bit more definitive so let's concentrate first here on the left and this is the parameter search as I promised you earlier and there's quite a few of them. In fact, there's over 130 of them. And we can get real defined uh, on some of the things that we could search for. But let's, uh, well, first, let me, let me point out that at the top here, that by default, we have 55,949 available properties in the Phoenix metro area. So that's, uh, that's how we're doing inventory. And we'll see that fluctuate as we go on. But the name of the game here is to whittle this number down. So this way, we can find you the homes that you want to see. So let me start here. Let's look at a dwelling type. Let's just do a quick search here. And if you notice, when I move the cursor over the blank spot, it, there's a drop down menu or an information box. Well, let me do that. Single family detached and see this is what we have. Let's put city town. Well, I've already got it in there. I live in Fountain Hills, beautiful city just east of Scottsdale. So let's do that. And let's go down a little bit. Let's say we want square footage range. Well, here's a, an information box. We could put 2,500 to 3,000 square feet. Okay, let's do that. If you notice up here, without even doing a thing, our little results box, we're now down to 3,600 properties. Um, I think that we could do a little bit better than that. So what do we have? We have the town code. Oh, here's the town code, Fountain Hills. Don't forget to check the box like I didn't. Well, we got 56 homes, but let's let's do a little bit better than that. Hey, how about a pool? We're in Arizona, for God's sakes. We need a pool. We get a lot of use out of a pool out here. Okay, great. So now we've got 36 homes, and also look at our map. We've got each one of these 36 homes uh, mapped out. If we click on one of these, it'll come up. But here, let's look at the results and see how they're situated. Okay, well, first thing is, is we got a little tease there. This is a, um, a representation of all the parameters stretched out in front of us, 36 properties that we want more information about. And you, if you notice at the top, the little blue highlighted areas, these are all the parameters that we've been searching about. If you scroll over, there's quite a bit of few of them. A lot of them you won't need, but it's nice to have them. More the better. So now this defaults basically to uh, list price. So it'll go ascending order from lowest to highest in list price. But let's say we want to do it by, oh, let's see, where's the bedrooms here? We could do that by number of bedrooms. And we can sort it by ascending, which means that it'll give us the least amount of bedrooms first and then the most amount of bedrooms as we go down with all 36 properties. And that's coming up there. And as you can see, yeah, here's a two bedroom home and then the rest are three. And then uh, as we go up, then we'll see four, and so on and so forth. So you have the capability to do that in case there's something that you're looking for. Maybe maybe a number of bads are important to you. Well, let's go to a detail page. Let's pick one of these. Let's start with the first one there. Now, the detail page, as you'll see in a second, has all the information spread out. And it goes, there's quite a bit of information on there. And one of the most helpful is the uh, good old realtor uh, remarks. Okay, We can also see how many photos there are. Now in this home, there are 17 photos. And if we scroll through, we get a chance to see what the home looks like. Now, I love photos and virtual tours. They'll come up here. But nothing beats walking through a home and actually getting to feel the place. And um, nothing beats that nice backyard. So, oh, there we go. Anybody like to play golf? And there's some of the beautiful Arizona sky. Okay, well, here we go. Now, we can also go back to a map. Now, on the detail, let's go back to the detail. You've got a little box here, tax info. This takes us 
directly to the multiple listing, well, excuse me, the Maricopa County uh, Tax Assessor's Office and tells us all the tax information on there. And this website alone has so much information. It has the comparables. It has all the information. It has the most recent uh, sales price. So this is incredible. You have a lot of information to work with. Great. Let's go back to the, uh, the report. You got a lot of stuff. So if I stopped right here, you'd be so far ahead of the game in having control of, of the properties that you want to see. We could just stop, and I'm sure you'd be a happy camper. But you know what? If you click on where it says Login, it gives you the option to get into what we call the portal. Now, the portal goes directly into the database, and it sets you up for a lot of great features. Okay? Um, you can set up your own private portal, and what you could do there is you can save your searches. Do you see this little, little happy faces and smiley faces? Well, you can list this as a favorite. We could mark it as a possibility, or we could reject it. But what you can do with the portal, if you opt in to the next level, which is also free, no cost, you can receive updates on the new listings. You can receive updates on price changes. We can track your favorite listings, and we can set up in such a way that you can get the information automatically sent to you on your email. Imagine waking up every day and seeing new properties come up that you've been searching for in the neighborhood. Imagine you've been tracking a property and waiting for the price to reduce, which is happening quite a bit, unfortunately, here in Arizona at the moment. So you've got some tremendous features. And again, another feature is if you want, by hitting this contact button, you could send me a personal message and ask for uh, a private link to closed home sales. See, what I can do is generate a private link for you in the parameters and areas that you want. Okay? Now, this is the method we have to use right away, but I have it on good authority that we'll be updating that feature to give you full control over the comparable sales. But also, if you want, you can go into the comparable sales uh, in, the, in the Maricopa County tax record to the right. So, you've got so much at your disposal. I'm really excited for you. I think it's wonderful that you'll be able to pull up all the properties that you want to see here. And uh, that's a quick overview at the moment. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I hope you realize you have a tremendous tool at your disposal, and I want you to get the most out of it. So I will, from time to time, send you tips and other shortcuts you can use to really navigate the site and get a lot out of it. As always, I'm here to help, so contact me with any questions you may have about your experience with the search, or if you have any specific questions on the areas you're looking at or the homes you're seeing, or even maybe you want to visit some of the homes, just contact me. I wish you well, and thanks again for visiting phoenixrealestatecorner.com.